Hi you guys. I was not planning on filming this video. My sister and I went out to lunch today and I was like, hey, I haven't been to the CVS here in like a year. I should go see what their makeup situation is like. And I did and um, now I'm filming a video. <laughs> so when I went in there, I was so excited because they had a bunch of the new Physicians Formula launches and I wanted to test them out. Physicians Formula is a really nice brand. You can get it at the drugstore, but it is a little more, um, it's like on the higher end side of the drugstore brands. And they've come out with a few new different lines. So we're trying out pieces from all of it and a new mascara. Okay, sorry, my memory card was full. So I applied the primer oil, but you guys didn't get to see that. I am real glowy after that primer it it smells really nice um I don't really see the blurring like I don't see any blurring I feel like if you have oily skin you're not gonna like this but if you're someone who has more dry or combo skin and you really like that like glowy look then you might like it we are going to next go into this which is the physicians formula organic wear sculpting bronzer so this is what it looks like in the packaging this says it has jojoba oil in the formula type allergenic fragrance free paraben free gluten free um, and cruelty free and it's tested by dermatologists as well so if you're someone who has very sensitive skin you might like this line this bronzer retails for $11.99. I'm gonna do the routine that I've been doing normally where I like to apply bronzer and concealer first and then go in with foundation on top. So that's what we're gonna do. I do not know how pigmented this is gonna be, so let's just see. I'm like scared to put a lot on. It's really creamy. So that's good. Maybe I'll just, okay, we'll start and we'll blend that out and then we'll see how to apply the, uh, how to apply it on the rest of the face. And I am using the Tati Beauty Blendiful today to apply everything. Okay, actually that blends in really nicely. Like very seamlessly. Was a little scared. It is a very creamy formula. But once you get it blended in, it's not too bad. Let's take some of that on the forehead. Uh, we'll do a little on the nose. A little on the chin and a little on the jawline. We will see how this makeup wears because I already have like a lot of different oil on my face considering this formula has jojoba oil and the primer was an oil. But if you're someone who has a very dry skin, you might really like this sort of combination of all the very like moisturizing products. So yeah, that actually blended in really nice pretty much everywhere. There's no harsh lines and it is a, a nice color. I was a little bit scared because like in the tube, I know my nose looks a little crazy. It will look better when I put foundation on. Um, <laughs> but in the tube, this looks like super dark. This color is really deep, but applied to the face, it blends out really nicely. Okay, let's try concealer next. So we're hopping back to that natural defense line. This is the natural defense concealer. This one retails for $10.99. I picked up the shade Fair. Now because it is that natural defense line, it also has SPF in it, which is great because your under eyes are super delicate. So it also has that cushion tip applicator. I've been talking about the new NYX concealer that has one of these and I really like it. We're just gonna apply this and uh, 
that color is nice. This is the shade Fair. Now, with Physicians Formula and most of their launches, unfortunately, they do not have like the best color range. So this concealer really didn't have a ton of options. I'm gonna just blend that in. This is like a very light coverage. It's not like collecting anywhere under my eyes, so that's good. And it blends out really easily. I don't know if it's gonna be enough coverage for me. It's not too bad. I don't think it's my favorite concealer just because it's like I don't know, I really do like a fair bit of coverage because I have pretty dark circles, but we'll say not, not too bad. Okay, the next product I have is foundation. This is from the Organic Wear line again. This is what it looks like. This is the Silk Foundation Elixir, also with jojoba oil. This retails for $15.99, and like I said, this um, didn't have like the best shade range, but I got the shade Fair to Light. So I'm gonna just like put a couple. Uh, this is so dark, oh my gosh. We'll see if I can get this to blend to be my shade, but this is like coming out orange. So if you can see on the bottle here, that color, it is like, Oh, I'm scared by this and also it's really really liquidy so I don't really know how I want to apply this I'm actually gonna just apply a couple dots to the blend full and just like see if I can kind of apply it like that fair to light this is way too dark to be fair to light but I can kind of make it work on myself I don't know, that kind of added not very much coverage and I just feel like I'm looking real, 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 real greasy. Now, this is, it does claim to be, it doesn't claim to be full coverage. It, it calls itself like a silk elixir, so like it's going to be very lightweight and oily that's what it claims to be so me saying that like the coverage isn't my favorite or the oil level isn't my favorite is not really a knock against the product because it is doing what it says it does i'm just like not sure how much i like it on me but like i said if you're someone with dry skin i don't know i feel like you really might like this i feel like my sister really might like this She's been looking for ways to like moisturize, add a little more moisture and like love into her skincare. And I think she might like this. I'm like really unsure about this. I feel like this is something that I might have to do like, I don't know, I, I might have to wear a few times before I like really get a feel for it. It's super, super light coverage. You can see, you can still see like all my freckles in here. And on this side, like it's not really blocking anything out, but I do have like a super nice glow. I just don't know how I feel about this. Next, we are going to apply another item from the Organic Wear line. This is the Dewy Blush Elixir. So we're just adding on to that glowy look. This blush retails for $13.49. I've not really seen a blush like this. It's completely liquid, it comes in a pump. So I find that interesting. Um, I think you'd almost have to use this with some sort of sponge or applicator like this because I don't know how you would apply it with a brush. I feel like it'd be a mess. But I'm just gonna apply Try and apply one pump on here. I'm gonna just unscrew this and like apply a little bit onto the blend of full here. Pretend like that's a pump. Already I'm gonna say like halfway no to this just because I couldn't even get it to pump. Which is unfortunate actually because that's a really pretty color. This is Really freaking pigmented though. Holy cow, okay. <laughs> Woo! 
really really pretty shade though this is kind of the tone of blush that I like to go for but like hi are you gonna ever pump anything out because it's not worth it to buy this in a pump for $13 and it not pump Okay, and then the last thing that I have from Physicians Formula, this is from their Rose All Day line. This is the Set and Glow Illuminating Powder and Dewy Balm. I'm going to attempt to kind of make this into a highlight. Um, this retails for $15.99. I am super curious to see kind of how this works because it claims to be a setting powder but it looks very shimmery. And I don't know what this dewy balm is about. So this is what the packaging looks like. So at the bottom here you have your like more cream found, uh, formula and then at the top is a powder. Oh cute, okay, so they're like separate. So the little balm is here and then you have like the really pretty flower. I have to imagine this is not gonna be a setting powder. Like this has to be just a highlighter, right? Whoa, this is very, whoo, this is very heavily scented. It's a nice scent, but if you're someone who does not like fragrance, you're not gonna like this. Ooh, I don't like this balm. I already know that, I don't like this. It's like sticky, but it doesn't really have like, oh, it's really sticky. <laughs> I don't wanna put this on, but I'm gonna put it on just for you guys. I'm gonna kind of use it as like a highlighter. I'm just gonna take this little highlighting brush and we're gonna try and just go over that and just see like what kind of glow we can get. I actually feel like this powder is really nice and I actually do feel like you could use this over most of your face. It is almost blurring. We're gonna take a big brush. I might regret this, but like we're already here. So I'm gonna take a bigger brush, kind of swirl it in there, and then just apply that over most of the face. I don't really know if I see much of a difference in this for $16. Eh. Okay, I'm gonna quickly do some eyeshadow and then I will be back to test a new mascara with you guys. The last thing I have to try, this is not from Physicians Formula, but this is new at the drugstore. This is from L'Oreal, and this is the Bambi Eye Mascara. This is in the shade 400 Blackest Black. They have a waterproof version and just a regular version. I don't like waterproof mascara, but I do think it's nice when brands come out with both because different people like different things. Instant eye opening mascara that delicately curls lashes to create bigger wider eyed lash look This is what the packaging looks like. I want to say this was ten dollars Yeah, ten ninety nine so eleven um, I really love the L'Oreal lash paradise I've been using that for years So when I saw that they came out with another one that was getting pretty good reviews I wanted to try that as well Oh, okay, it's bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's one of those like plastic spiky brushes. I I actually don't know the last time I used a brush like this, so I can't remember if I like them or not. But this is very different to the Lash Paradise brush. I think I really like this. Oh my gosh. So these are just my like bare lashes. You can barely see them because I have blonde hair. And then this is with the Bambi eye. That's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna quickly go ahead and apply the other eye and I'll keep you zoomed in so you can see um, how it applies. This really does curl your lashes. Wow. So that is the mascara on both eyes. All right, you guys, this is the finished look. That mascara really brought it all together and this is definitely my favorite thing out of 
all the stuff I just tried. This is going in my top shelf. I'll keep you updated uh, probably over on Instagram of like how it wears just to make sure there's no crumbling or like kind of melting on the face. That would be devastating because I really like how this applies and how it looks. I specifically did like really minimal eyeshadow and no liner just to see if I could build up the lashes on their own and this really works. I'm going to quickly run through the rest of the products and kind of give you like my yeses, my noes, and my maybes. We're going to start with the other winner of the show, which is this, the Physician's Formula Sculpting Bronzer Stick. I really liked this. This added such a nice warmth to my skin, and you can see there's no like harsh lines or anything. I love a good contour stick. I always have. NYX has a really great one that's affordable at the drugstore, um, but this is like a really nice middle price and I feel like it gave me a look comparable to this Huda Beauty which if you don't want to like spend the cash on this one you can get a really similar look with this and it's organic no fragrance all that good stuff so if you're really really conscious about what you're putting on your face you might really like this let's go to the maybes next and there's only one in this category <laughs> this I'm like not sure about this natural defense oil primer I want to give this a few more tries because I have a few foundations that are not as dewy as the one I tried today and I want to see how I feel about this underneath those underneath something that's a little more drying on my skin I, I just can't quite say about this yet um, and kind of similar with the foundation I don't know if it's really really dewy because of the oil or if it's mostly this but this silk foundation elixir I am leaning towards a no on this mostly because this is the shade fair light and you guys saw this came out freaking orange this is like this is not a fair shade this is what it looks like on the back of my hand that is not fair. <laughs> um, it blended out okay on me, like I was able to make it work, but you can definitely tell in person that it's not quite my shade. And I just, I don't know, for me this doesn't do enough. It's a nice lightweight coverage if you're someone who has very dry skin and wants just like a nice sheer coat with some good ingredients and things that you know aren't going to irritate your skin then you might really like this. I think I'm going to try this maybe a few more times before I definitely say no, but it's not my favorite. Okay, so these next three products are ones that I tried and I'm just out on. This rosé all day, this is so strongly scented. When I was filming, I kept like catching myself and I kept saying like, this is really strong, like this smells a lot. On that note, like I don't know that it really does enough and like my face is still sticky where I put that balm. I just feel like it just like didn't do that much. But if you really want like a super subtle highlight, you might be able to get away with this. But it's still like $16 for a product that is barely heav very heavily scented and I'm a little scared it's gonna irritate my skin. So this is probably a no for me. I just don't think it's going to really work with like my skin. This blush, also in the no, unless it starts working, I sat here for like 10 minutes while originally filming, trying to pump this out. I'm still trying to pump it out. I think I got a broken one. Um, but the formula seems really nice. The color is really nice. I do like it. But I'm a little wary to tell you to buy it if I don't know, like if I just got a broken one or if this is something where all the pumps are a little bit finicky. And then lastly, I think my least favorite thing from this is the concealer, sadly. I really wanted to like this because it's SPF 30 and you know, I love concealers. If you follow me on Instagram, you know, I try a lot of concealers. This one just really didn't do anything and it started flaking up in the corner of my eyes. Um, yeah, that's everything from my kind of little impromptu physician's formula try-on video. 
honestly all things considered I I don't mind the makeup I think the biggest thing that's throwing me off is my under eyes thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you very soon